Call the meeting of the City Council for Monday evening, October 28, 2019. To order, please stand as we salute the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors, and, and Council President had a, a prior commitment for this evening, so I'll be uh, filling in. He asked me to um, take his spot this um, this evening, and Council Monaghan uh, is unable to uh, attend as well this evening. So we have the first item, Mr. Clark. The acceptance of the minutes of October 15, 2019, City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The appointments, communication from the mayor, submitting a letter of resignation from David Zaff from the Brockton Conservation Commission. Accepted and placed on file. We have the appointments of Lucia Searcy of 33 Dover Street, Unit 130 Brockton, to the Conservation Commission to fill the unexpired term of David Zaff ending March 2020. Referred to finance. We have a report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of October 2nd, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Order of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of October 21st, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of October 23rd, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 21st, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of Jacana State Oliveria. 943 Front Street, Weymouth, for a garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 5B, Brockton, Mass. End City Clerk's Office, September 27, 2019. Hearing is signed for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. Paperwork was on fire. End Council, October 15, 2019. Continue to next full City Council meeting. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing continued. If, is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. Come to the podium. Thank you. Um, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. Just state Excellent. your name so the clerk has it, please. Uh, good evening uh, to all the members of the council. Uh, my name is Miguel Barzola, and this is my brother Alfredo Barzola. Okay, good evening. We are currently, uh, we're the owners of the uh, the property of the condominium adjacent to uh, uh, 5B Meadowbrook, 50 Meadowbrook 5B. And we just want to say and, uh, that Jack, Jack Cunias has done a lot of work in the property. Originally, it was abandoned property. Um, he's done a lot of improvements on inside and outside. Um, and he's a really good uh, businessman that takes care of uh, his properties. And uh, it's clear, uh, based on what we saw, that uh, he has made uh, the, the whole condominium place a uh, better place for, um, for all the members. Better place to work, you're trying to say. There you go, right? <laughs> yes. OK. Do you have a comment as well? Anything you'd like to say? Uh, yes. Uh, so like my brothers say, uh, we're uh, the neighbor of uh, Jacobs. and. I was very pleased once he, uh, he arrived to the condominium because now the condominium looks much better as, as it was before. So we're still working together uh, to make the place better. So hopefully he can have, um, he can have uh, what, what he's trying to get. You know, he hopefully gets granted. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, do, is there anyone else here in favor that likes to be heard at the same time? Please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Anyone else? No? All right. Yes? No. No? You sure? Okay. I'm going to clear that part of the hearing closed. Anybody here in opposition? Is there anybody here in opposition who wishes to be heard? Seeing none. Councilor Nicastro, give Thank a you. comment. Good evening. Actually, the applicant, Mr. D. Oliveira, is here this evening. And um, I just wanted to say that I've met with Mr. D. Oliveira and Mrs. D. Oliveira twice. I've talked to them on the phone a number of times. Um, at the, currently at 50 Meadowbrook Road, there are three condominium units that are changing hands and seeking transfers and things. Um, in this case, uh, Mr. De Oliveira is not seeking a transfer of a license. There was not a current license at this location. And so all that is available for him to apply for at this time is a garage license. What has been discovered during the pendency of this matter is that um, 
the the property at 50 Meadowbrook Road is zoned industrial, and an industrial use does not include either a garage license or or a an auto repair license. And I confirmed this with the city solicitor, Mr. Nessarella, as recently as two hours ago. I was told to uh, pass on to all of you that this that un unless and until Mr. D'Oliveira gets a variance um, to allow this use there, that we cannot grant a garage license. Now, I've made Mr. D'Oliveira and his family aware of this. I also made them aware of it on 10 days ago on October 18th. Um, and so that's what I was advised to share with all of you. So that being said, Mr. Clerk, then, then there's no granting of this particular license based upon what the city solicitor is. Oh, apparently, yeah, if that's what the solicitor's findings are, I don't know how we can go against that. Yeah. Uh, move move the table, then. Second. Motion's been made and second to table. I but, but, Mr. Chair, Mr. Table. President, I just closed the hearing first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, hearing, the hearing's closed. Oh, we'll go back and take the motion. Uh, Move the table. Second. <laughs> Motion's been made and seconded to table the uh, this item. All in favor? Goes, goes to the table at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Next item. Next item. Petition to Jason Lopes and Nelson Ro Lopes, 360 Ferry Street, Fall River, for a transfer of garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3, Brockton, Mass. In clerk's office, April 23, 2019, hearing is signed for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. In city council, October 15, 2019, continue the next full city council meeting. Time having arrived, arrived I declare the Hearing continued. Um, Councilor Nicastro. Excuse me. I wanted to make a motion to take 9, 10, and 11 together. Second. Motions were made and seconded that we take 9, 10, and 11 together collectively. Second. Second. All in favor of that? Well, okay. you take. And, and then from there, um, I have been informed that both of the applicants, Jason and Nelson Lopes, are out of the country at this time, and I have been asked to postpone this matter for two weeks to our next finance committee meeting. Is there a second on that? Second. Okay, so motion's been made and seconded. We're gonna take items 9, 10, and 11, and we're gonna postpone it to our second council meeting in November, is that correct? Yes. Okay, all in favor? Opposed? So those have been postponed until um, November's second city council meeting that month. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to item 12. Next, next item. Item 12. <coughs> order. In order to delete section 2 141, Cohesion Personnel Board in its entirety, in council September 23rd, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, that report was favorable. Questions on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. Hands up. All in favor? Opposed? Goes to a third reading. The appointment of Eric S. Smith as a special police officer, City of Brockton, for a one year term ending January 2020, and Council October 15, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncorn? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Farwa? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Oh. <coughs> uh, nine in the affirmative. Order is confirmed. Reappointment of William Sharnick, 82 Main Street, P.O. Box 941 Marion, Mass., as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years, in council October 15, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. 
Nine in the affirmative. The order is confirmed. For the appointment of Carlos Varela, 40 Briarcliff Road, Brockton, to the Brockton Community Cable Television Board for a term of three years to fulfill the unexpired term ending September 2021. 20, Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azek? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is confirmed. Put it that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, approve the request of a right of easement for National Grid as approved by the Park Commission in its meeting of September 12, 2019, as stipulated in Council, October 15, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. That report was favorable in finance and no recommendation of planning as they would not have jurisdiction over the property. If the park commissioner has already approved the easement, it is a matter for the city council. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azek? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Encourt? Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Castro? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered that the sum of $4,900,000 is appropriate to pay cost of sewer systems, rehabilitation work, including but not limited to projects designed to address sources of exfiltration, infiltration, and inflow and sections of undersized pipe, and for the payment of all costs incidental and re related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 7 and 8, or pursuant to any other neighboring authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the city, therefore, in Council, October 15, 2019, ready for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. No, excuse me. The question is on passage to a third reading by a hand vote. My apologies. All in favor? Opposed? Goes to a third reading. Order for the city to seek authorization for the acceptance of streets in the city of Brockton. Purpose, common, convenience, and necessity requires the acceptance of streets in the city of Brockton as public ways for purposes of public access, repairs, snow removal, emergency vehicle access, maintenance, and care of all roads in the city of Brockton. In Council, September 9, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning, report of finance is unfavorable. Planning Board recommendation is it was suggested that before further action is taken on this matter, that a committee to include members of the City Council, DPW, Law Department, and Planning Department be formed to further assist the, assess the cost to the City of Brockton. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Is that? No. Beauregard? Yes. Bruce? No. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? No. Farwell? No. Lally? No. McGarry? No. McCastro? No. That's two in the affirmative, seven in the negative. The order is adopted. No. No, it's not adopted. Wait a minute. <laughs> the order fails. I'm sorry. Okay. My apologies, right? Number 19. Okay. Order that the City Council amends the water purchase agreement, which originated on May 22, 2002, and was amended on September 6, 2018, between the City of Brockton and Aquaria LLC. In Council, October 15, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Gary? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Ordered acceptance and expenditure of the total grant funds in the amount of $9,997.05 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency, fiscal 2018, 
Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant mm. to Brockton Emergency Management Agency, Physical 2018, Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant Funds. In Council, October 15, 2019. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Maneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. McCastro? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Audit acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds and the amount <clears> of <throat> $12,000 from Mass Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Abuse Addictive Services, 2020 First Responders Naloxone Grant to Brockton Police Department, 2020 First Responders Naloxone Grant Fund. In Council, October 15, 2019. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Azak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? Yes. Maneri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Castro? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order the Department of Public Works would like to request that the City Council consider implementing a new ordinance to the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, illicit discharge and connection stormwater ordinance, in Council, October 15, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable to draft an ordinance. And the question now is on drafting the ordinance by a hand vote. All in favor? All opposed? We'll draft an ordinance. An ordinance <clears throat> amending the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 23, Water, Sewer, and Sewerage Disposal, Article 3, Sewer and Sewerage Disposal, to add reference to best management practices and also to amend Section 23-38 through 23 through 92. In Council, September 23, 2019, Reading referred to Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable. The passage is on a third reading by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? Goes to a third reading. We have the petition of Hector Sebleon. DBA Traders World Brockton, LLC, 723 Belmont Street, Brockton, for transfer of secondhand articles license from 21 Tory Street. In Council, September 9, 2019, Reading referred to Standing Committee on Public Safety. That report was favorable. At this point, Council, the question is on granting. Mr. President. Council Fowler? Just, just before we vote, because I like to explain what I'm doing and why. Part of the reason why we license various professions is to have an accounting of where they are, mm -hmm. how they operate, and also consumer protection. This particular applicant on two occasions has had a civil action brought against him and he owes approximately $89,000 to people. Given that, and given the fact that that judgment was after a full court hearing, that's not an allegation, it's after a court hearing, and because of consumer protection, I'm going to vote no on this. I, I just, particularly where we're going to be dealing with secondhand articles and precious metals and gems, it just seems to me that that calls for um, additional scrutiny by us. And that kind of outstanding, uh, those kinds of outstanding judgments, uh, in my opinion, do not lend itself well to me voting for approval of this. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. The question is on granting by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? For an opposition? Mm -hmm. Yes. Might want to call a roll on that one. Right. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. yeah. For an opposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's granted. You got four in favor, four. What a passes. Denying people. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it didn't pass. We we have a roll call vote. We have a yeah, roll let's call do it. Let roll both call of them go to a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Actually, Mr. President, I would just like to make a comment in um, consideration to what Councilor Fowell mentioned yes, for you. I would just, I, as yourself, um, you're the chair of public safety. I serve on the public safety um, committee, and I would just like people at home to know that this applicant came before us, and this business has been in business for over 20 years. It's nothing that is new and um, all they're doing is it's a transfer of a license from one location to another. So I just want people to know that 
as well at home. So um, we, we take into consideration why uh, we support certain businesses. And if um, and one of the reasons that I did support this is if we want uh, business owners to stay in business to be able to pay off their debts. So if we don't help them to stay in business, how are they to pay their debts um, to society? So thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Any other councillors before we... Madam Clerk, will you please um, call the roll? Azak? Yes. Beauregard? No. Cruz? Yes. Darren Oncourt? No. Aneri? Yes. Farwell? No. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. McCastro? No. Passes. Passes. Okay. Five in the affirmative, four in the negative. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the uh, license has been uh, granted. It's been transfer, granted for transfer. Transfer. It's been granted for transfer. We have the petition of Hector Sebleon, DBA Traders World, Brockton, LLC, 723 Belmont Street, Brockton, for a transfer of secondhand precious metals and gems licensed from 21 Tory Street, Brockton, and Council September 9, 2019. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Public Safety. That report was favorable. Again, um, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll on this one? Azak? Yes. Beauregard? No. Cruz? Yes. Darren Encore? No. Maneri? Yes. Farwell? No. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Nicastro? No. Transfer is granted. Five in the affirmative, four in the negative. Transfer has been granted. Item number, number 26. 26. Yep. An ordinance amending Article 2 of the revised, strike that. An ordinance amending Article 2 of the city ordinances be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. The Section 4-21 through Section 4-28 of Chapter 4 is hereby amended as follows. Definitions relative to certificate of fitness. Refer to the ordinance. An ordinance amending Article 3 of the City Ordinances be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. That Section 4-40 of Chapter 4 is hereby amended by adding the following Section 4-40.1, Problem Properties Task Force. Refer to ordinance. An ordinance amending an ordinance in Article 3 of the City Ordinances be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. That Section 2-186 of Chapter 2 is hereby amended by adding the following Section 2-186, Assistant City Solicitor. Refer to ordinance. An ordinance amending Article 3 of the revised ordinances be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. That Section 2-127 of Chapter 2 is hereby amended by adding the following Section 2-127 pay plan. Refer to ordinance. Resolved to invite a representative of the Justice Center of Southeastern Massachusetts to present to the City Council proposals currently being reviewed in the State Legislative Session in the Joint Judiciary Committee, the Homes Act, and CEC Bill. Refer to finance. Mr. President. Council Cruz. Oh, did we do 30? I'm sorry, I might have jumped up too soon. No, we just did. Dude, I, know I have a late file in the hands of the clerk that I'd like to put in tonight. Yes, go right ahead. Yes. Motion's been made and the second to accept the late file in favor. Opposed, Mr. Clerk, you can read the late file. In Council October 28, 2019, be it ordained <clears throat> by the City Council an ordinance establishing the City of Brockton Stormwater Management Manual for best practices for the illicit discharge and connection stormwater ordinance to establish methods for controlling the introduction of pollutants into the municipal separate storm sewer system, which is MS4, in order to comply with the requirements of the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination Systems permit process. This ordinance shall be adopted by incorporation of the City of Brockton, Massachusetts Stormwater Management Manual as a new ordinance in the City of Brockton Ordinance forthwith. Refer to the Committee on Ordinance. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Councilor Nicastro. Thank you. I have a late file. May I make a motion to accept it? Second. second. Motion made and second to accept the late file. All in favor? 
Oppose. Mr. Clerk, you have the late file. I resolve to invite Mr. Robert Jenkins in his capacity as Executive Director of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, the BRA, to present to the City Council updated information on the BRA's construction of a municipal parking garage, including the construction scheduled, budget, and currently expected completion date, and any other related information. Item will, will, that item will be referred to finance. Any other late Mr. files? Mr. President, I have a late file and the, the clerk. Council of so, has a late second. file. Motion's been made. Seconded. All in favor? Opposed, Mr. Clerk, you must have the late file. Or? Uh, here we go. Is it one or two? One? One. one. Okay, is she, is she moving to move this tonight, or is this just Are you looking uh, to no. move? No. 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 Okay. No. Okay. Thank okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Communication from the Mayor's Office Grants Coordinator requesting that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the grant award in the amount of $336,520 from the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs Parkland Acquisitions and Renovations for Committees Grants to Mayor's Office Parkland Acquisition and Renovations for Communities Grant Fund. These funds will be used for the John L. O'Donnell Playground. The total cost of the project is $523,600 with a required match of $157,000. Uh, let me check that before I go any further. 157, that's supposed to be a corner. Well, that's supposed to be a corner, I'm sure. $157,080 to come from the Community uh, Development block, block Grant Funds, and that would be the CDPG. And that item will be referred to finance as well. We have a order from the mayor recommending the same. Communication, I'm sorry, for the mayor recommending the same. And a resolution to file and accept grants with and from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs for the Parkland Acquisition and Renovations to the John L. O'Donnell Playground. Accepted and placed on file. Any other, uh, no, no other late files. Councilors, just, um, just to bring, bring us up to, um, to date, as you know, the, the council president did mention last week that there would not be a finance meeting next week and he'll make that decision to whether or not there'll be a, another one called or he'll just wait and um, do it probably on the third Monday. But remember also the um, second Monday is November the 11th, so our next council meeting is November the 12th, which would be Tuesday. So hopefully um, you get, you'll get that straight in your calendar. I know the next week or so is gonna be a little busy with, with everything going on in the election coming at us as well. But uh, just a reminder of that. Um, and then I just want to make mention of those that are on the accounts committee. We will be meeting tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. right in the uh, council room if you're on the accounts uh, committee. Any other any other business, Council Powell? Yes, just briefly, uh, councilors, we had several items referred to the ordinance committee. We will have to meet. It obviously will be after the election, and it, I know Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, one of the interesting items referred to ordinance that came up tonight is the assistant city solicitor issue, adding assistant city solicitors. I did not realize it, and I probably should have. Assistant city solicitors don't have to live in the city. They are specifically exempted by section 2-186 of our ordinances. So if we're going to go forward and we're going to create new positions, we've got to get a handle on residency. It, it really is a, a fragmented approach to what the voters decided they wanted. We've got some department heads who are in a union, and after a certain period of time, they can live anywhere they want. We have collective bargaining, which has exempted some employees after a certain amount of time. Then we have other department heads. Uh, I might add the clerk as one who is, not that he would ever leave us, but he's <laughs> mandated to stay here. And Basically, what we've done is we've taken the entry-level, lower-paid people 
who do not have seven years of experience and we mandate they live in the city, uh, which is the public's right, but then all of the other people seem to have some type of an escape mechanism and I'm just uncomfortable with it. I, I'm uncomfortable with creating more assistant city solicitor positions which would handle very sensitive legal issues mm -hmm. in the best interest of the city and you don't even have to live here. So whether it's an ordinance, whether it's a resolve, I think it's something that we need to uh, bring forth after the election, uh, find out where we stand, and, uh, and, and be level. Let, let's level with the people. Let's, <laughs> let's let them know that even though they voted this, what they thought they voted really does not exist. And uh, I'm just troubled by it. This isn't a political speech, but if we're going to add more people, residency, it seems to me, ought to be part of the equation. So thank you, uh, Mr. President. You're, you're entirely welcome, Council. And when, we, when you do call that meeting, I would uh, uh, definitely call our city solicitor or attorney Nazarella, but also um, I would also call attorney, uh, our assistant city solicitor, attorney uh, Sean Murphy as well, because he's been working with the mayor on these particular items. So he's a little bit more abreast about it so that we don't have to have our City solicitors say, I'm not too up to speed on what's there. Yes. I would rather, because Sean is the one that was called in to work with the mayor on these the last few weeks, okay? So just to let you know Thank that. Thank you. Yep. And Thanksgiving's late, so we still got enough time. <laughs> Anything else? Councilor Nicastro. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I just wanted to announce that the Real Estate Committee will meet this Wednesday, um, October 30th at 5 p.m. in the Council Committee Room. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Any other business to come before this uh, committee council this evening? Seeing none, meetings are adjourned.